Well, good morning, good morning, incredible people. Um, what are you anchored to? What are you anchored to? If you think about an anchor and you think about how it gets, um, it holds that, that ship or holds that boat, it has to be in deeper ground than just superficial sand, right? If you think about the, the, little, the little section of the beach where you can just get your toes wet, there's nothing there really to anchor with. There's that that sand will move. If you try to, you know, really anchor in on on that sand at the shoreline, you're going to find that the anchor is going to move because the sand is going to move because the water is going to move it because it's not in solid ground. It's not been anchored properly. You have to be in deeper water. You have to be in a place where maybe you can't see the bottom, where it's a little bit uncertain. That's where you can really place your anchor. Now, a lot of us go into deep water. We go into the uncertainties. We go into the risks. We, we go into those challenging situations with our anchor still trying to hold on shore on the superficial, on the shallow, like anchoring to your job or anchoring to your position or anchoring to your finances or anchoring to a relationship. That's not going to hold. I, I, I have to tell you that will not hold. That's why you probably feel some uncertainty and some anxiety and some frustration and all of those doubts and fears and, and ooh kind of, kind of things because you're not anchored to the right thing. When you're in deep water, when you're taking that risk, when you're in that difficult situation, when you are feeling those feelings, go get the word on your lips. Go find out what God says about that, whatever it is, about that feeling, about that thought, about that issue. Go find out what he says. Let him feed you with an exact formula so that you can be anchored And it won't fail you. God will never, never fail you. People and things and positions, all of that comes and goes. But God's love for you will never, never go away. And his ability to hold you in those difficult times will never stop. As long as you're anchored to him, as long as you are in his word every single day, looking to see what is it that he wants to tell you today? What is the message he has for you today? You're his favorite child and he has a message just for you. Go seek it. Go find it. God does the how and you do the do. I'll see you tomorrow.